about 8 o'clock or something, I think. And um, it's just kind of, it's kind of been like this off and on all, all day. Rainy, which I, which I like. Um, it's nice to be able to come out here, be under the shelter, and uh, get some of the rain come down on the tin roof. Well, yesterday kind of turned turned out to be uh, um, oh, it was nice it was nice um, rainy day and I did uh, sit out back for a little bit but um, I was hoping it was gonna it was maybe gonna thunderstorm again later uh, around 12 30 1 a.m. but I kept I looked at the the um, radar map and it, it just looked like it was kind of passing us by or was going to come by too late so I didn't, didn't get a chance to catch any of the thunderstorm out back but um, now I'm going to uh, one of the big box stores and um, I think I'm going to pick up a little uh, splitting axe and um, I saw the last time I was in there and I was kind of thinking yeah you know next payday or something. I think I'm going to go, might pick one of those up and, uh, because, um, yeah, I got the one, I have a small axe, but it's just not really made for, uh, specifically for splitting so much. So, um, I think this will be better. And, um, shot just looking at this person here in front of me is doing some weird stuff with their car sitting there backing up right almost up to my bumper or something being goofy anyway um so yeah maybe i'll get a shot of that we'll, uh picking up the uh we'll, we'll see i'll see if i can find the uh what i'm looking for in the store here get out of the house for a few i, I know i got i still gotta do uh yard work and grass cutting and all this kind of stuff, but uh, we'll be right back. Let's see, so this is uh, what I'm looking at here, and I think this will work better. So, just got home from the store. Like I said, I, I picked this up. Um, and I'll just show you, this is uh, some of the, the various um, wood uh, collecting tools that I got here. Got a couple more over here. And, um, so these are the two that I mainly use in the backyard. Um, you know, I was uh, using this for a little while, it, just to split a, a log from a 
you know, the firewood that I have to, uh, ordered. This one is really nice. This is, um, it's based on a U U.S. Forest Service uh, design, and they've done some kind of treatment to the top here so that, um, you know, when it's exposed to heat and cold, and the, so the head doesn't get loose on it. It's uh, 26 inches, I think it's hickory handle. It's got this nice leather case that came with it. Um, made in the USA. This thing was like 128 bucks. And, but you can see, <laughs> I've already screwed it up here a couple times. And not only that, but this leather, I messed that up because uh, it was, you know, it was laid out. I think I had my headlamp on or something back here. And I think the, the handle was up like this. You know, it's dark and I hit it. So that's messed up now. Um, you know, it's just, it's, it's really nice. I hate to see it getting screwed up, but um, the, uh, not only that, it's not really designed for splitting so much. I mean, it works. You can split with it, of course, but uh, you know, maybe not as good as some other options. You can see the kind of the thinness, narrowness of the... It's good for chopping. Like this thing, now this one here, this is the one I keep in the van for when we're uh, out camping. And this works really good for, it's not, again, it's not exactly a splitter. You could split some things with it, and then, uh, I have, but, you know, it's not uh, geared towards that as much as it is um, geared towards chopping. I can cut down a five or six inch diameter dead tree when we're out in the, when we're out camping and stuff. <clears throat> Find a find a little dead tree, uh, and this will this will take it down. Pretty much no problem. The saw is also great for this is also what I keep in the van when we're when we're out camping. This is a Baco Force. Uh, it's really nice. A um, really nice bow saw. One of the things. I never realized, I uh, hadn't realized before until I started looking into it, but they, they do make blades for these that are made for um, dead wood, and then they have a, a different blade that's made for green wood. So this one, the, the blade I got on here is for dead wood, dry, um, and, you know, I seems to make a difference, I'm not sure, but uh, just when I found that out, I was like, oh, okay, I'm going to order that, you know, one that's designed for the dry wood and give that a try. But these these two, um, these are our main two camping uh, tools I use for gathering firewood. And then I also have, I also have this um, uh, Ontario machete. And uh, it's a real good machete, made in the USA. It's like, you know, U.S. Marine Corps type of, uh, you know, they it might be a military issue type of thing. You got some um, tennis racket tape wrapped around the, the uh, handle there. And this is, it works pretty good, but, you know, um, more often than not, you know, I... Uh, the axe or the, the the hatchet slash axe is kind of a, like an in between size. This thing just um, it's like why why fool with this? You know, trying to cut into cut a tree in half, or even if it's a couple two three inches, it's not bad for limbing. You know, limbing off of uh, just cutting a 
limbs off a small tree if you cut it down, but, but this is a limb too. You know what I mean? This is, um, you know, if you just need to knock the limbs off, you chop the tree down. Um, so for chopping, I, this is probably better for light vegetation, something like that, that, uh, you know, if you were just trying to, you know, chop through, um, you know, like, I guess vines or, or different things like that, but I also have a, um, uh, it's like a, a sickle that I keep in the back of the van. And I'll use that for, you know, if we just need to uh, go around and just, you know, you swing it and you can knock down if there's a few um, weeds or poison ivy or something that in the campsite needs to be uh, cut down. I, I have that kind of sickle thing too, so, um, I don't know. It's not like I'm going to leave it behind or I'll just, I keep it in the back of the van and I do bring, you know, use it every now and then, but uh, it's almost like this is... This is better between between these two with the bow saw and the little axe. This thing is just use, you know almost useless. I I use it to um, I get those fake um, logs, fire logs from the grocery store, and uh, I'll use those. And I'll, a lot of times, sometimes I'll just use this to chop a piece of the fake log off, and I use that to get the campfire started but um but anyway yeah the main thing was you know, I was kind of um I was disappointed about this thing getting screwed up and it, and it wasn't really um a super splitter anyway so I decided to get this and um I think this is gonna it's gonna work good. Let's see if I can get the uh, little label off of it here. And uh, this this part stays with it because that'll it's a uh, just a blade cover, and that I will keep and uh, for storage. And but you can see this one is a lot thicker. It's a lot heavier. It's got a lot more heft and weight to it. And it's also, um, you know, there, it's, you're not going to screw that up. I mean, if I had, I understand that, you know, a lot of people say, like, if you were serious into um, uh, using this every, every day, like, this is designed for, um, woodland firefighters to have a kind of a lightweight tool to take into the back country something they can you know, carry on their back or whatever if they're going in on foot and uh, need to be able to cut down some some small trees and things um, then this would be perfect for that but um, I just need, you know, I'm not the most accurate always when I'm chopping, obviously, because I did mess that up. So I just saw it. I saw this when I was at the uh, at the store a couple weeks ago. And I thought, yeah, next payday I might pick one of those up because it's uh, it's got a lot more weight to it. It's made for splitting, and I can't I can't really screw it up. <laughs> it's it's not gonna. I'm not going to worry about it if it gets damaged. The same thing with this one. I mean, this is, um, this thing is, uh, you know, you're just not going to do anything to that. It's got a little bit of corrosion on it because it is carbon steel. And, um, they, uh, you know, they put a coating on it when you, when you buy it. But, I mean, it's no big deal. It's just, that's a cosmetic appearance kind of issue. Other than that, though, this thing is, you know, it's a, this is an S-Wing. It's a really good brand. And that thing's going to last forever. I mean, you can't hardly, you can't really hurt that. I use this, uh, I go around and hammer in the steel tent pegs and, um, you know, use it, like I said, to gather a little firewood. So, anyway, but, yeah, I think this is going to come in handy for the uh, backyard here. 
just uh, trying to split a little bit of wood if I need to cut it down some and uh, don't have to worry about messing it up. This was 40 something dollars, this was $128. So you know, sometimes you don't have to spend a lot of money that's uh, just to get something that's better designed for what you're trying to do. So, uh, Hello. <laughs>